Well, with lives upended by the pandemic, we saw fewer couples get pregnant, and not just a few. According to a recent study by the Brookings Institution, 60,000 fewer babies were born in the U.S. between October 2020 and February 2021. Uh, joining me now with more on why this happened, Washington Post reporter Tara Barampour, who just wrote an article about all of this. Tara, good morning. Hi, how are you? Uh, I'm great. It's good to have you here to talk about this. This is so interesting. You know, I mean, some people thought everyone was stuck inside, that you might have a little baby boom during the lockdown stage of the pandemic. Why is that not the case? You know, that whole thing about baby booms during blackouts and, and things like this doesn't always come true. And in, in this case, it was really the opposite because all of a sudden, if you remember back in March and April of 2020, everyone was suddenly stuck inside and they were blindsided. Like they said, they had no childcare all of a sudden. Schools were closed. They're working at home. They are scared to go get groceries. You know, everything that they thought they could rely on in their lives has suddenly been upended and the future is uncertain. And so the idea of getting pregnant and bringing a baby into the world seemed counterintuitive to a lot of people all of a sudden. I mean, Tara, you note in your article that the largest number of missing births were in January 2021. Uh, we have this up on the screen, by the way, uh, which roughly corresponds to conceptions in April 2020 when many Americans began the process uh, to process rather the magnitude of the pandemic. I mean, what, right. was, what was happening in April of 2020 that made people go, OK, this is not something we're we're going to do right now. Is it kind of what you mentioned there or is it is it more than yeah, that? I think in March, everyone was like, well, this will be two weeks and then we'll be over. By April, I think people are realizing it's not going to be two weeks. It's getting worse. And depending where you were in the country, it was really bad in some places. Like the, the biggest uh, drop in, in births was actually in New York City. And if you remember what was happening at that time, people were basically dying in hospitals and there wasn't room for people. And there you had a 23.5% drop in births for, for that little period. I mean, so Tara, or Tara rather, where do you see... Um, where do you see family planning going at this stage of COVID? I mean, people are vaccinated, but you know, now we're in the winter and we're looking at Omicron cases. Everything is very stressful. I mean, where do we go from here? That's true. And if you look at history, the Great Recession or the pandemic of the Spanish flu of 1918, those all had corresponding dips in births. And in fact, the Spanish flu epidemic had three spikes where the, the flu got really bad. And nine months after each of those, there was a decline in births. And so it's too early to tell right now, but it may be that we have more dips coming that, you know, associated with Delta and now Omicron, you're going to have nine months later, another similar dip in births. Now, with this an original one back in the spring of 2020, there was a decline and there were 60,000 fewer births than expected, but then that bounced back. So the question is, is it going to go down and bounce back up again? And, and that remains to be seen. It does remain to be seen. All right. So I guess we'll have to take a look at the research when we get more information here. You know, Washington Post reporter uh, Tara Barampour, thank you so much. You know, we've got Tara's article posted to fox13seattle.com if you would like to check it out. We appreciate you being with us this morning. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely.